uh, we we don't do that. Hello and welcome to another video. So today I'm actually going to do a different style with these kind of showcase videos. Instead, I'm going to go review on the Bloodline. Today we'll be talking about Devas Sengoku slash Rengoku. Now, this Bloodline itself gave me so many confusion at first because we were like, okay, this Bloodline's gonna be fire, you know, they made a whole boss about it and then after the boss has said they're dropping the Bloodline, we were excited for this, right? And I'm honestly disappointed with the results. So, welcome back guys to another video. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, become a channel member. Uh, 10k will be doing a game pass giveaway on Shindo Life and yeah, let's get on with the video. Now, Deva Rengoku and Deva Sengoku are pretty much two same things. One of them being you can buy them for 900 Robux or you can get them by spinning while the other is a 1 in 60 chance by getting it from a boss drop from the Deva boss. Oh shit! I'm not like it. What the fuck? <laughs> And also, I don't think I said the rarity of the Sengoku, which is 1 in 200. Now, if I say which one's worth getting it, I would say definitely Sengoku, just because you can spin this bloodline and have the chance to get it compared to the 1 in 61, because Eva is extremely hard. So, at first, I went about, when I was trying to get Rengoku, I did a couple of tries. For some reason, it just never dropped and it was really hard to kill the Deva, even with the reduced uh, HP that they said. I, it's, it's, it's true because it, the, the HP does go down a bit more, but I still find it confusing while they'll, why they will do this, but oh well. But pretty much, I will be talking about specifically Sengoku, but it's really the same as Rengoku. The only difference really being is... It's just the red version of the Rengoku, okay? So, uh, if I get comments saying, oh, they're different thing, no, they're, they're literally the same thing, but with different colors, okay? <laughs> Nothing changes really, okay? Now, this Bloodline has, well, three moves. It's called Sengoku Gravity Havoc, uh, Meteor Burst, and Heavenly Throttle. Um, for the Rengoku, we'll say a Rengoku instead of Sengoku, and it'll be in a purple. Now, when I use these moves at first, I was actually really happy that you know it looked really good like visually but I want to say this just because something looks visually good that doesn't mean necessarily the bloodline is good I've seen so many people saying like just because the visually it looks good that means the bloodline itself is good which I will disagree upon like I think the uh, Deva Sengoku and Rengoku are like I would say mid tier just because well I'll get into it in a moment but pretty much the first move does around 40,000 damage which are without any mode which is decentish if I would say so myself the second move does around 48,000 again that's all right and the third one doing 26,000 which is kind of confusing to me now when I use the first move there are some ed end lag to this okay so when you when you are using this uh, the pull and push at the same time which is the first move uh, you won't be able to use anything else until uh, the move ends um, and you know the good part about it is it's an iframe so if anyone sh sh throws a Shindai Sun for example you won't get hit by it unless it runs out and the meteor or oh, the Sun still hits you that's another thing but there is good iframe which, with it which is really good well with the second move now the second move here, here's a problem um, the aiming with this is really hard now if I if I've done this correctly pretty much there's only going to be one meteor okay so really it's a small AOE move the, the hand sign is like a couple of seconds if there's like a like a lot of people in this small area you can actually hit them with the meteor but if they're like far away from you this second move isn't really that good so that's and I feel like the second move does carry the bloodline itself, uh, in my opinion. Now, let's go to the third move. Now, the third move, uh, the problem with the third move itself is even though it's a push, like, I think it's like a pretty much a ranged push, it doesn't push you that often, okay? Rengoku, the regular Rengoku's push does... I don't know about, I think the damage does even more w without the mode and also it actually does push you comp compared to the Rengoku slash Sengoku Deva, it doesn't really push you that often, there is a end lag to it and also there is no iframes, you can get hit by anything which is I feel like it is stupid, you're doing a push. Why, why are you still getting hit by things? Aren't you like pushing it away? Like that's why I'm a bit confused by it. But with the mode itself, this is where it kind of like goes, okay, you know what? These are kind of good. With the mode, the first move, it does 58,000, which I would say is better. Uh, second move, 74. 
thousand again, superb. Like seventy four, like pretty much seventy five k. That's really good. Uh, third move, thirty eight k. I don't know. I just don't like the third move. I think the third move is like the worst in this bloodline. And the Q spec, okay, which the Q spec is pretty much a a pull. And you also will be able to do some combos which it, with it, which is actually really good. Uh, the problem with that is it you can you can actually block it. Okay, so if someone blocks it and you use the Q spec, they won't uh, get pushed. However, they'll still take damage. So that's the good side. So I would say the Q spec is good still. And the M1 does 14,000 damage. Now let's talk about the C spec of this. Now the C spec is well. That's a really big planetary devastation. Pretty much, if someone like blocks it, it doesn't matter really. Uh, they'll get pulled up. I think if you block it, you have to block it until the thing ends. So that's going to be like a problem to the enemy if they get like block break or something while they're blocking. But pretty much, uh, when you're using the C spec, you create this planetary devastation and you do so much damage. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I couldn't really record this or couldn't get a footage, but I do believe the C spec does around 70k. Ish, like I think like 69 70k damage which is I would say is really good now you would want to use this when um, the enemy is close to you so it's not really like a long range attack it's a short range attack so uh, you have to be really careful when using the C spec you can get a lot of people by using the C spec it reminded me the last move of chaos you can think about it, like literally you, you can think about this being a larger version of what we have for the chaos elements last move okay literally so this bloodline itself, uh, Sengoku or Rengoku, is honestly I would I would say somewhere between mid tier, just because the damage is really is I guess decent ish. Uh, the one criticism I have towards the game itself is Rel doesn't know how to make boss fights. I've memed this like with with my friends. Like Terra is one of the people that knows. I I literally clown on how they make the boss fights. Uh, they like <laughs> I don't know. They just Rel doesn't know how to make proper boss fights really. And this is probably one of the examples of Rengu Deva Rengu could be in, uh, one of them. So. Um, other than that, that's really all I have with this bloodline, why it's bad. But other than that, I say this bloodline is good. I wouldn't say that the other, I would say like Ryan Rengoku is way better and maybe Shindai Rengoku is also going to be way better. I'm just assuming, I'm guessing, I don't know if it's true or not. But uh, what I'm guessing is going to be like that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, what should be improved? Now. Firstly, the third move. The, now, the third move, okay, which is the, what is it called? Uh, the Heavenly Throttle should have his iframe. Now, I don't know why they didn't add an iframe. Did they forget to add an iframe? I have no idea whatsoever. Like, literally, I have no clue whether or not if they did forget the iframe. <laughs> like, I have, like, you're pushing. Why are you still getting hit? Like, if, you, if there's iframe for the first, for the Gravity Havoc, why isn't there one for Heavenly Throttle, you know? It, it, it just doesn't make sense, really, which is kind of interesting, you know? Personally, I feel like e the, the Q spec should be something where it should be uh, unblockable, meaning if they do block, they will still get pulled. I, I feel like that will be a really great turning because you're making, because I do believe you're making this whole boss fight a big deal, and yet a one simple block won't pull the enemy towards you I don't know I my opinion I feel like they should allow you to when you use a Q spec and the enemy is blocking you should be able to pull them either way it doesn't really matter maybe they should do a bit of damage buff buff maybe for the third one as well 38,000 and for again for the third one they should increase the amount of like things it pushes like the regular Rengoku who push does more like it actually pushes you while this Rengoku the Deva Rengoku barely does anything so yeah I would say the third one definitely should get that you know push buff whatever as well now when you go into your mode you got 2800 Chi 2700 Ninjutsu 3000 Taijutsu and 2700 HP which these are stats I actually don't mind I feel like they're perfectly fine so in conclusion of this video what do I think now I think this bloodline was overhyped and it's probably a mid tier bloodline just because there's some weird things going on. Not top tier but below top tier. Like if, if there was like a chart, if there was like a tier list for them and there was S, A, B, C, D, this would have definitely went either top B tier 
or low A tier because Sengoku slash Rengoku isn't really that worth it, okay? Even though they made a big deal out of it, trust me, it's not. It's not that worth it. You would be better off getting a regular Rengoku for like the pushes and stuff. Uh, but, you know, the, the damage is good as well, okay? If you get this, don't be like, oh, I should get like a normal Rengoku. Like, no, you should keep this. This is really good, okay? But if you get better ones like Shindai Akuma, Ryan Rengoku, you know, something like that, then I would say definitely do do uh, switch it then. But if you're like starting new or something, or you're in the mid game and you got this bloodline, definitely keep it. I was kind of disappointed with this bloodline. Like I said, the damage should get like a bit, a bit, a tiny bit of buff in my opinion. And yeah, that's really all I got for this bloodline. Uh, let me know down below what you think. Uh, did I miss out something? Or, you know, this, do you disagree on what I said? Should they not add this buff or should they uh, nerf something in the bloodline? Which I, I do, I, I don't think anything should be nerfed from this bloodline. I think the bloodline itself is perfectly fine. Uh, like, in the nerf wise. But the buff wise, it definitely needs something like that. So, I thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like down below. If you haven't subscribed, which I'm trying to hit 10k. At that goal, I'll be doing Game Pass giveaway. All my socials are in the description below. Uh, thank you to my channel members and I'll see you later. Peace out.